Hello, and welcome back to the Conscious Code series on the Embody Me podcast. I am your host, Crystal Renee, the Soul Brand Alchemist, and we are covering all 64 human design gates, gene keys, and I Ching hexagrams as the sun transits into each archetype every six days. So today we're talking about gene key or human design gate 63, which I refer to as the exploratory discernment. And in human design, this is considered the gate of doubt, the gate of curiosity, and it's in the head center, moving towards the Ajna center via gate four in the channel of logic, which is a design of mental ease mixed with doubt. So in the gene keys, this is called reaching the source. In the I Ching, it's called after completion, fire heats the water from below. It's in the tropical sign of Pisces and the Vedic sign of Aquarius. And it sits on the cusp of the Shatabisha and the Purva Bhadrapada nakshatras. The overall energy of Gate 63 is characterized by questioning, doubt, and discernment. It holds an essential role in logical processing, driving you to challenge information, identify patterns, and seek answers. So this energy can be directed both externally towards the world and internally towards oneself. So when directed outward into the world, the energy can be beneficial in its critical evaluation of data, and it challenges the status quo and stimulates progression. And whenever this energy is directed inwards in Gate 63, this may lead to self-doubt, suspicion, and mental paralysis, causing you to question your own insights, abilities, and self-worth. So let's start with the shadow of gate 63, which happens to be doubt. And this can cause self-questioning, suspicion, and hesitation, and may lead to mental paralysis and self-doubt, challenging your sense of self-worth and hindering the ability to trust yourself and others. So in the repressive nature or more introverted personality, this can show up as self-doubt based upon comparison to others, and we give it our fear, and it eats away at us as anxiety in the shadow. Now, if you have a more reactive nature or you're an extroverted person, this shadow can show up as suspicion, where it's ultimately rooted in self-doubt, but that's transformed into anger and taken out on others. So you're projecting doubt onto everyone close to you, making your doubts personal. And their defensiveness further ingrains your doubts about them in the first place. So when it comes to doubt, in your shadow, you doubt your self-expression, where you feel suspicious about your own abilities, causing you to undermine your self-esteem and potential. You also have the tendency to over-question, and that can lead to mental paralysis, causing you to become stuck in thought cycles without arriving at clear decisions or solutions. And the inward focus doubt, where it's not being properly channeled outward, but instead directing inside yourself, causes you to constantly question your choices, abilities, and worth. And the inward doubt can be detrimental to your emotional well-being. So you have this interpersonal inadequacy, where the gate's energy might make you project your doubts and suspicions onto others, causing misunderstandings and strains in interpersonal relationships. So you're either projecting your doubt within yourself and not valuing or seeing your worth, or you are projecting that doubt outwards and not seeing the value or worth of others and not trusting others because of that. And then, of course, not trusting yourself because you don't trust others because everything that we experience in life is a reflection of our inner world. But that brings us to the gift of inquiry, where we start to get curious about these things. And that promotes the ability to question, analyze, and discern. And it encourages the pursuit of knowledge, stimulates the curiosity to understand deeper truths, and paves the way for personal growth and transformation. So in your gift, you're a very discerning questioner, 
And as a result of this nature, you possess a sharp discernment that allows you to dissect complex issues and find answers. So your doubt can act as a gateway to discovering bigger possibilities and connections. And you have an ability to recognize patterns where you work through the doubt and make sense of the patterns in a unique way. And you're able to leverage these patterns in a way to find new pathways or solutions. And that's how you turn doubt into opportunity, where you don't see it as a hindrance, but as an opportunity for exploration and truth seeking. And you can turn internal or external skepticism into constructive self inquiry and growth. And you also have the ability to transform negative, doubt filled questions into more productive ones. And this shift in perspective can lead to more positive mental focus and results. So you're very curious and explorative. And the Gate 63's energy encourages you to question and explore new ideas, possibilities, and potentials because you're naturally curious, because you're eager to explore the world around you. And because of this, you have very inspirational thoughts. You examine your life in detail. You embrace the doubt in your gift. It almost takes you down a path of self-realization to enlightenment and truth in your gift of inquiry. Now, in the highest state of frequency, your Siddhic state is truth. And this refers to the profound realization and embodiment of truth as the integral part of your existence. And it leads to enlightenment, self-realization, and a deep sense of inner peace. And ultimately, with this gene key and gate, you're really wanting to seek truth in everything that you do. It's in your head center. So you're constantly pulling information from the ether and questioning it. Is this true? Is this relevant? Is this something that I need to work on? How can I advance myself with this new insight and knowledge that I've received? So by embracing your doubts and persisting, in your search for answers, you can reach profound realizations about the nature of truth and the universe. And your doubt actually fuels your journey of self-realization by questioning your own nature and purpose. And you embark on a personal journey of self-discovery and enlightenment with this specific gate. How you can use this in your business is by being the beacon of truth, by questioning things by looking deeper into the meaning of why something is happening or raising awareness around different topics within your business within your tribe where new pathways can be built and explored and new patterns can be established through your inquiry to seek the truth You are the one that makes sure that truth would be a huge core value for your brand and business with this specific gene key because it's a huge part of what you came here to bring to the table and experience. Now, just be careful of getting too deep into your shadow of doubt where you're doubting your self-worth, you're doubting your ability to create something that the world needs within your business. and lean more into how can I transform this doubt? How can I dig deeper into the truth of why I'm feeling this doubt in the first place? And with that being said, here are some contemplative questions for you that you can journal on if you have this gate active. What needs to happen to unlock my need to be right about an idea and allow myself to dream of possibilities again? That's a beautiful question. And where is my doubt directing my attention? And how can I use it as a pathway to deeper understanding? And how can I use my inherent ability for inquiry to question and transform my self-doubt into self-awareness? And here are some tips that you can use to further embrace the shadow of doubt and embody the gift of inquiry and truth. The first step is to understand that your doubt is not a negative aspect of your personality, but a crucial part of your journey towards self-discovery. Accept that doubt is a natural part of your logical process. 
And doubt can be a catalyst for change. So instead of suppressing your doubts, use them as fuel to spur your personal and spiritual growth. And maintain a journal. Document your doubts, questions, and the answers that you discover. This process can help you track your progress and understand patterns within your thoughts. So as we all are impacted by the energies of Gate 63 this week, be aware of the self-doubt that we might experience or the projection of that self-doubt onto others. And instead of doubting, reframe our doubt into inquiry and how we can use this doubt to catapult ourselves into a new direction, maybe something that's more aligned for us or to discern what is working and what is not. So that is gate 63, the exploratory discernment. Explore your doubts. And with that being said, I'll see you guys again when the sun transits into the next human design gate. Thank you so much for your presence here.